Oh, there, ladies and gentlemen, Barrett Spikes Videos back at you. Uh, I recorded this video, but it, it, I got some errors to pop up, so I had to do a new one. Uh, but the Lord laid this on my heart really heavy today when I was praying. So I'm on a, I want to try to play this whole chapter of Isaiah 59. I think there's uh, 21 verses. I think the world needs to hear this. I know the world needs to hear this. Here we go. We'll try it. See how it goes. Isaiah 59. Behold, the Lord's hand is not shortened, that it cannot save, neither his ear heavy, that it cannot hear. But your iniquities have separated between you and your God, and your sins have hid his face from you, that he will not hear. For your hands are defiled with blood, and your fingers with iniquity. Your lips have spoken lies, your tongue hath muttered perverseness. None calleth for justice, nor any pleadeth for truth. They trust in vanity, and speak lies. They conceive mischief, and bring forth iniquity. They hatch cockatrice eggs, and weave the spider's web. He that eateth of their eggs dieth. That which is crushed breaketh out into a viper. Their webs shall not become garments, neither shall they cover themselves with their works. Their works are works of iniquity, and the act of violence is in their hands. Their feet run to evil, and they make haste to shed innocent blood. Their thoughts are thoughts of iniquity, wasting and destruction are in their paths. The way of peace they know not, and there is no judgment in their goings. They have made them crooked paths. Whosoever goeth therein shall not know peace. Therefore is judgment far from us, neither doth justice overtake us. We wait for light, but behold obscurity, for brightness, but we walk in darkness. We grope for the wall like the blind, and we grope as if we had no eyes. We stumble at noonday as in the night. We are in desolate places as dead men. We roar all like bears, and mourn sore like doves. We look for judgment, but there is none for salvation, but it is far off from us. For our transgressions are multiplied before thee, and our sins testify against us. For our transgressions are with us, and as for our iniquities, we know them. In transgressing and lying against the Lord, and departing away from our God, speaking oppression and revolt, conceiving and uttering from the heart words of falsehood, and judgment is turned away backward, and justice standeth afar off. For truth is fallen in the street, and equity cannot enter. Yea, truth faileth, and he that departeth from evil maketh himself a prey. And the Lord saw it, and it displeased him that there was no judgment. And he saw that there was no man, and wondered that there was no intercessor. Therefore his arm brought salvation unto him, and his righteousness it sustained him. For he put on righteousness as a breastplate, and an helmet of salvation upon his head. And he put on the garments of vengeance for clothing, and was clad with zeal as a cloak. According to their deeds, accordingly he will repay. Fury to his adversaries, recompense to his enemies, to the islands he will repay recompense. So shall they fear the name of the Lord from the west, and his glory from the rising of the sun. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the Spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him, and the Redeemer shall come to Zion. And unto them that turn from transgression in Jacob, saith the Lord, As for me, this is my covenant with them, saith the Lord, my Spirit that is upon thee and my words which I have put in thy mouth, shall not depart out of thy mouth, nor out of the mouth of thy seed, nor out of the mouth of thy seed's seed, saith the Lord.
from henceforth and forever. There you go. This Bears Bikes video is a... This is a warning to all the people doing evil around the world. God is not pleased with you. There's only one God and His name is Jesus Christ. He is the God of all universe. He is the Prince of Peace. He's he Only Him can give peace to the soul. All the ones that don't believe in Him, you must believe in Him. For He came and died on the cross, was buried, and rose again the third day uh, for our salvation. Uh, for you to be saved, properly saved according to the Word of God, you must die, be buried, and rise again. And stop this evil act uh, or judgment of God is coming against you to commit such crimes on this earth. Oh. Never will I ever stop preaching this or teaching this. Then Peter said unto them, Repent, that's death, and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins. That's burial. And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. That's resurrection. That's what saves a person's soul. If you out there and you're not baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Or you reject the name of Jesus Christ. You're lost. The only way to true salvation. And true peace. Is through being born again of the water and the spirit. Water and baptism in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins and the Spirit, the Holy Ghost. Receiving the Holy Ghost with, uh, with the sign of the sound of the Spirit, which is speaking in tongues, that Jesus talked about in, in John three eight. And so, uh, this warning. I've been thinking about all the evil that's happening around the world, and we are in desperate desperate need of revival we need a blast of the holy ghost to cover the whole earth we need jesus back to earth for these ones that are dying all the evil that's done like all it does is create a response from other people to pay back and attack back and everybody dies what the if you don't believe that jesus is the as God manifested in the flesh, and you believe in another God, whoever it might be, you are lost. He that and it, what's what's John uh, fourteen say? Let's check it out. So you know, this is the word of God, John fourteen six. Go. Jesus said unto them, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh to the Father but by me. The Father is the Holy Ghost. That's the Spirit of Jesus Christ. You cannot get to the Father but by the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. You must believe and be baptized. The Bible says in Matthew, in Mark 16, 15 and 16. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. He that believeth not shall be damned. See, this is this is the gospel. How much time do I got you? Know, I'm in nine minutes. I got lots of times. I can go to fifteen minutes. Let's go. And he said unto them, Go ye into the world, all the world, and preach the gospel to every creature. Verse 16 says, He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved, and he that 
but he that believeth not shall be damned. It will be lost. Uh, that's being water baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. This is a great commission that was given out 10 days before the day of Pentecost when they baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the mission of sins. That was the only way. That's the commission according to Mark. Luke says, and this is 10 days before the day of Pentecost when the Holy Ghost was poured out. 24. Uh, let's try. Where is this? Let's go there. Verse Verse 40, 46 says, this is 10 days. This is instructed to the disciples to, to do this. And tells you right where it's supposed to start at. And it said, and said unto them, thus it is written, thus and thus it behold Christ to suffer and to rise from the dead the third day. They crucified Jesus on the cross. He, they put him in the grave, and he rose on the third day. And this pattern is uh, to set up the pattern of salvation. And repentance and remission of sins shall be preached in his name among all nations, beginning at Jerusalem. Verse 47, that was. So, repentance and remission of sins starts at Jerusalem. So, on the day, day of Pentecost, that's where it happened. This is uh, uh, 10 days before that day of Pentecost when the Holy Ghost was poured out and they all spoke in tongues when they received the Holy Ghost and Peter preached this message. Repentance and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for remission of sins. You shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. That's uh, Matthew's version is what everybody else uses. Now these are the same account. Matthew. Everybody goes by repeating instead of doing it in, in the name. 28.19 This is another Great Commission recording. And therefore it, go ye therefore and teach all nations Baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. So, the, the scripture is not different from Acts 2.38. They went down and 10 days later and did exactly that. They baptized them in the name of the Father, Lord, and of the Son, Jesus, and of the Holy Ghost, Christ. It's all in Him. The fullness of the Godhead is all in Him. Jesus is the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost all in one. There's no Trinity. That's not a Trinity scripture. That's a oneness scripture. One God scripture. And it points you right to the book of Acts chapter 2. Uh, this, is, this is also the Great Commission according to Matthew. It's all the same story that each one's telling. And it all is ten days before the Holy Ghost was poured out one Peter preached the plan of salvation on the day of Pentecost. And it's very clear. It's the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ that saves you. Well, I got it less than a minute. I might well get to it. Uh, like 1 Corinthians 15, 1-4. Moreover, brother, and I declare it unto you the gospel which I preach unto you, which also you have received, and wherein you stand, by which also you are saved, if you keep in memory what I preach unto you, unless ye have believed in vain. For I delivered unto you first of all that which I also received, how that Christ died for our sins, according to the scripture, and he was buried, and he rose again the third day, according to the scriptures. Death, burial, and resurrection sets up Acts 2.38. Thanks for listening. God bless you. I'm out of time. Goodbye.